First of all, I would like to thank the American Society of Clinical Oncology for the opportunity to present here today. My name is Chris Sampson, I'm a PhD student at the Netherlands Cancer Institute. And today I would like to present our research on the implementation of whole genome sequencing in routine clinical care. In the coming years, an increasing amount of new drugs will be approved partly to more agnostic for genomic biomarkers. Hence, there is a need for a comprehensive genomic test, which is future-proof, tumor type independent, and captures all possible biomarkers. The implementation of whole genome sequencing in routine clinical care could be an attractive solution. The WIDE study, which is an acronym for whole genome sequencing implementation in standard cancer diagnostics for every cancer patient, has investigated the feasibility and clinical validity of whole genome sequencing in routine clinical care. The study design was as as follows. Whole genome sequencing was prospectively, prospectively performed on 1,200 consecutive patients with a suspicion of metastatic cancer. Fresh frozen tumor material was obtained during routine diagnostic procedures. Whole genome sequencing was performed independently of and in parallel with standard of care diagnostics. The results of whole genome sequencing and standard of care diagnostics were compared and discussed in a dedicated tumor board. The design of the study allowed for continuous evaluation optimization of procedures. The patient characteristics uh, of the patient included in a wide study, the mean age was 59.3 years old with a range of 18 to 89 years old, and they were predominantly female. The success rates of whole genome sequencing um, uh, largely depended on the site uh, where the biopsy or resection was taken from. Uh, the highest success rates were observed uh, in the liver uh, with 78% uh, soft tissue in 70% and lymph nodes in 62%. Among the lowest success rates uh, were uh, was tumor material retrieved from bone in 54%, peritoneum in 52%, and from the lung in 49%. The most common tumor type within the WIDE study were lung cancer in 29%, colorectal cancer in 18%, and breast cancer in 12%. Other tumor types included um, sarcomas in 7%, prostate cancer in 4%, and uh, cancer for non-primary in 3%, and ovarian cancer also in 3%. Feasibility. Modium sequencing was feasible for 70% of the samples. And the main reason for ineligibility was, in, was an insufficient amount of tumor cells, which is a tumor cell percentage below 20%. This was the case in 24% of samples. Uh, other minor reasons for ineligibility were a low DNA yield in 2% and technical failures in 3% of samples. Turnaround time. The turnaround time is defined as a time from when the biopsy resection was taken and the time uh, when the whole genome sequencing report is available. The median turnaround time over 1,200 patients was 11 working days, and the median turnaround time over the last 300 patients was 10 working days. Clinical validity. In total, 891 biomarkers were identified with both whole genome sequencing and standard of care molecular diagnostics. Whole genome sequencing discrepancies consisted of 21 false negatives and four false positives. Therefore, the prospective clinical concordance was 97.6%. Due to continuous optimizations of the bioinformatics pipeline, approaching the end of the study, the respective clinical concordance reached 99.1%. Added value. In 71% of patients who received whole genome sequencing, uh, clinically actionable biomarkers were found. And clinically actionable biomarkers can be defined as uh, patients who have a, a treatment option, either regular treatment and or clinical study allocation, as can be seen in the pie chart. To conclude, whole genome sequencing was feasible in 70% of samples. It can be performed in 10 working days. It has reached a clinical concordance of 99.1% and has identified clinically actionable biomarkers in 71% of patients. Therefore, whole genome sequencing is feasible and clinically valid in an acceptable time frame in routine clinical practice. Thank you for your attention. And in case there are any questions, feel free to contact me.